Samurai 2.8, we have added new triggering. What we have here is a Panasonic AF101. As with all cameras, they normally have two modes. One is free run and one is record run. There are three ways to start the Samurai recording. The first one, simple, you press record and you stop it exactly the same way. The next one is actually using the time code coming up the HDSDI. To do that, you prime the trigger. This trigger is TC equals record. So therefore, as soon as it sees time code coming up from the camera, it will actually go into record. So if I press this start on the camera, the camera is now recording, and also the samurai. If I press stop, it stops. Now that will work with generally every camera that actually has time code coming at the SDI. The third way of recording is actually using embedded triggers in the HD SDI signal. And that gives me different manufacturers, Panasonic, Red Epic, Sony, Canon, Arri, and back to none. If I set this to Panasonic and come back out again, without the actual trigger working on time code, if I press the record button on the camera, it automatically goes into record. And I can press stop as well. Obviously when we're in the monitoring side, as soon as I press the record and stop of the camera, it will start and stop. So how does this run in free mode? So if we look at the camera like the red Epic and red Scarlet, you would set it so that it will actually trigger based on the red Epic. You would not have the trigger on. And basically as the red runs in free mode all the time, the time code will be racing all the time. So therefore this trigger won't work. But now using the flags that the actual red camera gives, it will actually start and stop exactly when you press the record button on the camera.